Well, hey folks, PC7 here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another look at this merchant life. So, last time around, we kind of got a quick poke at the game, figure out how to get from point A to point B, buy a few things, sell a few things, did a couple missions. So, let's see what today holds. Let's start with missions. Um, donate? I don't have the stuffs to donate. What do we got? Challenge. Uh, cart security reduced by this amount. Yikes, that's not good. Um, well, this one looks pretty simple. Collect a letter at Serenity, then return here. Okay. Let's take that mission. So we're going to Serenity, hey? Let's have a look at Serenity. Ah, it's back here, huh? Oh, I can't quite uh, make that out. Ah, here we go. So, beer and round things, hey? Okay. Let's see what we've got in the way of beer and round things. Beer, average price. Hmm. Round things, they don't appear to sell. All right, let's, uh... Buy all that. Okay. And let's head... to travel to Arshan. Oh! With the caravan pausing alongside the road for a brief respite, you climb down from the cart, pat one of the horses absent-mindedly, and wander behind the cart to check nothing has moved around in transit. You stare at the pile of goods for a while, mentally calculating their potential worth, small and imaginary numbers flashing up above each item. Perhaps you're a little engrossed in this, because you don't sense anything. But when you eventually turn around, there it is. On the ground in front of you, the word grain. It takes a long time to register that the word is spelled out with ants. By ants, actually, it appears. The ants would like some grain. Now, I can scare them off, or ignore them. As far as I know, we don't have any grain. Um, I'm going to scare them off. The ants scatter when you start yelling at them, striking two pans together for added effect. Okay, so we're here in Arshan. Um, ah, let's give her a quick repair. Anything else we can do? Wheels level 2. Hmm. That wouldn't hurt, eh? 900 bucks, that's kind of half the money we have. Let's go with that. Nice. All right, let's head to Serenity. <coughs> All right, we made it. So, ooh, collect mission. Alrighty. Oh, did we not get any... Alright, well, let's sell... Ooh. Oh, we paid 80-something. Okay. So we're making money. Alright. Now, our mission, take a letter back to Lancer, okay? So we're going to Lancer, and we should bring, can we buy lumber here? That looks like it would be an awesome thing to buy. Lumbar, yes, and it's a good price, we'll buy it all. yee filled them right up. All right, now... First things first, um, 
Okay, our cart is only at 92. Ah, there's no cart repair here. Hmm. Anything we can take to... No. Alright. So let's travel to Arshon. Excellent. Okay. Now, that is this. Oh, right. Oh, we can explore. Let's do that. You weren't really looking, oh, talking to one of your horses, just checking she was okay. You don't talk to your horses. Still, you feel a little guilty when someone taps you on the shoulder. You turn slowly, your hand reaching for the hilt of your sword. In front of you stands the strange and enigmatic Riddle Lady. You do not immediately remove your hand from the sword hilt. Unperturbed, she asks a riddle. What has six faces, twenty-one eyes, but cannot see? Well, obviously, dice. Ah, you weren't actually sure 21 was the right amount, but it felt right. She says she'll spread the word of your wisdom, pats your horse affectionately, and then sort of leaps away. She throws a bag of coins at your head from a distance. Hey, 500 bucks and a plus to wits. Very nice. Well, that was certainly worth doing. Now... Eh, I think we're going to sell our goodies at Lancer, so. Let's click Lancer, and let's travel. There we are. We got our mission. Travel bonus, plus 20. Perfect. Very, very nice. So, let's go to the market, and let's sell off all of that lumber. Man, we're just making the money. What do we got for missions? Uh, donate, nah, collect. Collect peasants at Serenity and then bring them back here. Oh, well that sounds like a good mission. So we're back off to Serenity. So, back to Serenity, eh? No. Oh. They're looking for a few things this time. Hmm. This is a good price. Um, nothing else really is that we can buy. So we're going to buy all of these. Alright. We're off to Arshan. Oh, no we're not. Cart. Yes, repair. Hoo hoo. That was close. What else you got? Wheels level three. No. Too much money anyway. Shoe upgrades to move a little quicker. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Alright. Twelve fifty, eh? Well, I guess you gotta spend money to make money. Okay. Now, we're on our way to our shot. Oh yeah, look at us go now. Boom. Hoo-hoo! Oh, we get to explore. Perfect. A tall figure wrapped in a dark cloak approaches you as you sit, eating at your caravan. The man has a small beard and a ponytail, the edges of the smile at his lips. Sir, my name is Crawlin. Perhaps you've heard of... No, no, I see that you have not. I'm a travel writer, new to this land, working on my latest opus, Missives from a Small Peregrine. Which settlement in this kingdom would you recommend to me for sightseeing? Mandrago? Serenity? Or March? Well, I haven't been to these, I don't think. Ah, uh, looks like we lost some culture. Okay, he's not impressed. We didn't do well. Wow. Um, 
<laughs> yeah. Okay. So with that, let's travel serenity. Let's hope I don't run into any. Uh oh. Dang. Alright, on first sight, this stretch of road didn't look much different to countless others you've been down already. This could screw us because we don't have any fighters. Did you sense something was wrong after a while? Or is it that your mind playing tricks on you now as the ban bandits rush from behind cover? Well, you can see we don't have a lot of choice, so fight back. Nothing for it, but to ready for a fight. They may have the advantage of surprise, but you have the advantage of something else. No, I don't. Oh no. Versus, oh god. Okay, we don't have any fighters. <laughs> Hero? We don't have any heroes. This is the movement phase. You can move fighters by clicking on them. Pressing next combat phase. Do we have a run away phase? Um. Um. Okay, I don't seem to be able to do anything. Defeat. Alright. Alright. Well, we've got to remember to... Uh, get ourselves some guards when we travel. I've been getting kind of lax and that isn't going to pay. So, let's sell all. Hopefully we made some money. Okay, tavern. A local hunter. This guy's pretty good, but they're only good for one run, as far as I can tell, because I hired them before, and, well, yeah. Now let's hire the burly peasants as well. Missions. Wild animals on the road to Aton. Escort peasants to Lancer. God, not much money being offered. To Aton, huh? What do we got that's... Oh, Aton? Let's have a look here, shall we? Aton is right here. So, okay. They'll pay heavily for that stuff. Oh. All right, let's head to Eton. The trader approaches. The warning squarks of a tree full of birds as you approach can be irritating, but also instructive. A useful way to gauge the approach of other groups in the forest. You know something's coming a good few minutes before you see it after a swarm of agitated crows start making a racket a little ways off. Fortunately, it's only another trades cart that appears. Looking a little the worse for wear, a similarly run-down looking general merchant asks if you'd be interested in a trades of good. Unfortunately, I only have 
ignore available. I'm sorry. Huh. Well, that was... kind of sucked. Alright. First, you hear a low buzzing behind you, like someone's humming. The sound intensifies until you turn around and take in a rare sight. A honey wizard making their way down the street. Not walking, however, but floating a few inches off the ground. This mysterious sect of wizards are equally feared and respected across Peregrine. Legend has it that they were once ordinary druids who one day decided to just really, really specialize on bees. Instead of walking, they are normally seen floating along, carried by thousands of obedient drones within their long golden cloaks. In a fight, they can send a swarm of angry insects to attack mercilessly, and there aren't many good counters to a cloud of stingers. Uh... Stay out of the way. I'm going to say a nice thing about bees. We get plus charm. Continue. Be the honey they produce. You shout something to the effect of, Way to go, bees! And the wizards pause briefly to look at you. You can make out a smile under the hood before they fly off again. Whew. Okay, I guess we were good there. Alright, let's sell... All of our metals. Excellent. Missions. Um, what happened to our mission? Oh. To Lancer. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> and where is Lancer? Oh, here. Hmm? Uh-oh. I think we might have gone the wrong way, man. Alright, so what is Lancer like, though? Uh, they'll buy wood. Hide. Okay. Um... Look. Upgrade points. Oh, okay. What do we got here? Horse shoulder. Short-term cart stat boosts. Last twice as long. Horses respond well to yelling briefly. Leadership panic stations. Tavern trawler. Plus one higher slots. Hmm. Okay, so... I don't know what we should take here. I like that one. Oh, can we not take this one? Charter from Unlock Sidebar. Huh. Oh, I see. You unlock them down there. Okay. Oh. Apparently we don't have that here, though. This one we can. We'll unlock that. Um, oh, let's unlock that as well. Alright. Okay, yeah, we gotta get to Lancer, don't we? Dang. What do we got here that's good for a trip to Lancer? Yeah, they'll pay above average for wood, so let's buy their wood, shall we? Boom. Oh, we're not full yet. What else do they like? What do they think of beer? Not such a fan, but they will buy metals. Uh, yeah, your metal prices bite because you only got what I sold you. It's the only thing you've got that's a good price. Hmm. All right. Well, I guess we're not go. Oh, not going to go full. Let's go to the tavern. Let's hire Sh 
sure. Alright. Okay, with that, we need to work our way back. So let's travel there. Boom. There we go. We'll finish filling our cart. Let's travel to Arshman. Oh, no. The road here runs along a large orchard separated only by a low rock wall. In these difficult times, such shoddy protection see a group of peasants in the orchard stealing fruit. Oh, let's give chase. I'm off. You shout at them and appear to give chase. No, I'm half-hearted. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, we get a plus to determination, but a minus to compassion. So maybe not our finest hour. <laughs> oh, okay. So you will take a rickety old wagon. You're pulled by a single worn-out looking donkey. Several disheveled looking peasants. The peasants see you know that you're having to take a man, a father of four, the twenty or to the nearest healer. Minus two hundred gold? Okay. good price on that so oh hang on hang on hang on let's uh cart yes <laughs> well we can still do that it's fun you know that look at the slump shoulders a fellow merchant stumbles He's happy to sell for you. I can't buy anything. I have no space. Sorry, dude. Alright, mission complete. Travel bonus. Escort success. Oh. Oh, wow. 10,000 a pop. Wow. Alright. Okay. Missions. Escort a chest to Serenity. Find best location in Serenity, Randos, or... Huh? Artros. I don't get it. No idea what that means. But we're going to Serenity, so let's take that. Let's go to the tavern and hire people. Oh, they're identical. All right. Uh, how's our cart? Let's repair it. All right. So we're off to Serenity. Well, we'll explore here first. Finding your bearings in the Coruscan Town Square, you are suddenly confronted by three women, even more dazzling than their surroundings. In fact, they do appear to be faintly glowing, with a light you can only describe as unearthly. You are transfixed by this surreal tableau, and then one of them speaks. We are three grand goddesses, and we wish to tell you, and we wish you to tell us which of us you find to be the fairest. To indicate your choice, we wish you to hand this magic uh, orange to your selection. She shrugs at this and abruptly hands you an apparently standard orange. You then notice the orange has a smiling face drawn on it. You try to keep a stoic expression <clears throat> and return your attention to the three deities. I am Astrid, the goddess of beauty, the first goddess claims, therefore the fairest. I am Bridget, the queen of the gods, the second goddess points out, which makes me the best. And I am Ragna, the goddess of wisdom, the third goddess states, so I am generally right about things, including this. The orange belongs to me. You have the horrible feeling that whichever one you choose, you'll make enemies of the other two. Now, the goddess 
the queen of the gods. Hmm. She sounds pretty tough. Now, normally I'd go for Ragna. Oh, man. <clears throat> 250 XP. Scully, she accepts the orange chicken dinner, she shouts, did you enjoy our performance? The three were engaged in some daring street theater, recreating an obscure myth for people in the square. You compliment them on how real it all seemed, and they beam at you happily. So we got a plus to mysticism and 250 experience. <laughs> Alrighty, so... Hmm, you got nothing but beer, eh? It is on for a good price. I'll bet you they like beer. And Where are we going? Serenity? Yes. Okay, so... Um... Before we leave, though... Let's get our cart fixed. There we go. And beer, huh? Alright. And... Oh. Yeah. The swiftness of the attack is perhaps the most terrifying part I forgot. I wasn't going to buy a market, I was going to hire people. Dang. Uh, just a few inches from your head. You know it's surrounded on all sides, ranged fighters taking aim from many angles, while heavily armored figures close in with swords, maces, and warhammers. Things are not looking good for you and your, well, I don't have guards. The leader seems to be a powerfully built figure now approaching in full plate armor, wielding a bardiche and an holy union of spear and battle axe. The armored individual flips up the visor plate on their helmet to reveal a surprisingly friendly looking man with a bushy mustache. Then he speaks in a deep baritone. Hello, good merchant. I am Jagan, and these are my colleagues, the Battle Fighters of Jagan, or BFO for short. Of? <laughs> Okay. We are a forward-facing, highly trained, and extremely professional band of warriors for hire. We don't like to use the term mercenary because, well, that has connotations of untrustworthiness and an ill discipline, which is very much the opposite of us. I hope you are not alarmed by our simulated attack, but we believe it is a valuable way of demonstrating two key points. One, the roads are perilous, and two, we are extremely good at what we do. We are based in Arshon, and I hope that you have any security needs you will consider us in the future. Find us in Etan. Bravery and charm. Who? Come on, baby, make it one piece. Yes! We made it. Mission complete. Nice. All right, let's search. Okay. Okay, so now we need to go back to Lancer. So, oh, sell all that. Lancer. <sighs> okay. We're going to fill up on this. Then, we don't have a lot of money. Uh, and, oh, they don't have a cart shop. That's not good. Caravan passes a nondescript greystone shrine, squatting just off to the side of the road. The shrine itself is not particularly notable, but there is something odd alongside it, something much smaller. You squint a little and lean towards it, and yes, you can see that it is unmistakably a much smaller shrine. You decide this warrants a brief investigation. 
The smaller shrine is perhaps six inches off the ground, roughly carved from a similar stone to its larger neighbor. On the front is scrawled the crude image of an ant, receiving some sort of offering and looking appreciative. It is impressive that this can be gleaned from such a small image, but it's unmistakable. So you can give an offering, which is probably really stupid at this point, so it's exactly what we're going to do. The ants would want, if you leave the coins, then they can buy whatever they want with it. Okay. And apparently nothing else happened. The soul of acumen. Well, they say that you learn more from mistakes. I think that's a healthy way of looking back on the floating wreckage of a disaster that is my merchant life thus far. When I sleep, I can feel the interest on the debt in my dreams. It's characterized as a dark mass growing overhead, eager to devour the world. Dixie, huh? So what I've divined from my own heightened understanding of trade is that I should probably try to make a bit of money so I can pay this debt off before it consumes me utterly. Turns out coins are really important when you're a merchant. Gold, gather 4,500, continue. Oh, I see, I needed to make it to level 3. That was my first goal. Hmm. So, let's quickly waddle up to Lancer. Boom. A bard in need. Just a little cluster of houses. Uh, Things are less peaceful, however. Most of the inhabitants seem to be crowded around. You can see there's an exposition bar at the center of the huddle. He doesn't look too happy. People angrily shouting at him, shoving him into equally angrily people who push him back. It's not clear what this is all about. Hmm. Well, I'm going to escort him to safety. Bravery and compassion go up. And we're here. Gold rewards 750 plus 20 XP. Awesome. Well, we haven't gone completely broke yet. Ooh, what's this? Kingdom. Oh, this is all of our standings. Cool. And we have another skill point to spend. Smarts, eh? Ah, that's already got that. What's the... You learn a lot. Okay. We're going to go for that one. And I think that's going to do it, guys, for our second look here at the little game. Kind of an interesting thing. I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I have a feeling it's probably not too far before I'd go broke. But uh, we'd have to see. If you want to see more of it, let me know in the comments down below. Other than that, hope you enjoyed. And remember to hit that like button on your way out. Take care of each other, folks. And ciao for now.